Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So today, Emo and I are going to talk about robots. What are you doing, buddy? I'm Emo, your desktop pet. You are. So we're going to talk about um, different robots that are coming on the market or that have been through Kickstarter or are currently on Kickstarter. Um, I have three today. We're going to look at Elec. I think I pronounced that right. And then we're going to look at Dolly. And we're going to look at Bitsy Bot. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here and let's talk about robots. Ooh.
All right, so now you got to see um, a video preview of the different things that are being currently offered or coming to the market. Uh, Dolly was out there for a while and then it went silent, but now Dolly has rose to the top again. And it looks like they didn't sleep on their laurels. They've added a lot of different things and they now are posting regularly. That is super cool. So hopefully that will hit a Kickstarter campaign pretty soon. I liked BitsyBot. It's a little robotic arm. It's super cheap. I mean, you can get into it for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, I ended up going about, I think it was $70 because I got the module to go with it. Um, but there's a lot of other things they offer for additional fees for BitsyBot. But it's a very self-contained little robotic arm. Everything you need is going to be contained in that little robotic arm. You can program it and save to that arm itself, and then it will do what it needs to do. That's super cool. Now, Alec, um, that has been a successful, extremely successful Kickstarter campaign, and it's currently available, I do believe, still on Indiegogo. Um, it's super cute, super awesome. It has uh, a shockwave. You know, if you hit it, you can hit the desktop. It's going to react to those different shocks. Um, it's got a lot of different little features. It has some games built into it. Um, and then the, if you have more than one, you can click them together and then they interact with each other and they in, even interact and play games together. So those are super cool. A lot of robots that are currently on the market are updating and doing things that they need to do. This little guy gets updated regularly. Um, there's been updates on Ebo. I wish they would communicate a few other things, uh, with their updates, like what the update consists of would be very cool, but Ebo is super awesome too. I like it a lot. I have the Ebo Air and the Ebo SE. When I was in the hospital, it was the most reliable robot to dial into my house and maneuver, uh, throughout my house at the time. Um, I would love to say some of my other ones were as reliable, but because of different limitations, I wasn't able to maneuver them very well. Uh, Mirror's Cat, I think is what it was called, Mirror's Cat. Uh, looks like that campaign wasn't successful, and that's kind of sad. It was a higher-end robot, talking about getting into it for around $1,000. And I, last I looked at it, there was that, that many people. Um, that backed that particular bot. And that's kind of sad because I think it's an awesome bot, but I don't think they did enough publicity to get the movement going. And a thousand dollars is a lot to buy, out, buy it off. I like robots sometimes that are, you know, under that $500 range, the closer we're around 250 and below, that's even better. Um, he was an extremely uh, modestly priced robot at the time. He's uh, increased price a little bit more now since the original launch, um, but that's to be expected. Uh, he also does a lot more than he ever did. Um, and he's just going to continue to do more and more and more. One thing you want from a robotics company um, that is offering a robot such as this is consistent communicated updates. Consistent communicated updates are what's important to the consumer base knowing exactly what's going on. You can't just throw out an update every year and say, hey, they, I updated your bot and have it not be a consistent beneficial update. Um, this guy can see hand movements. That's super cool. He can physically tell the difference between this, this, and this that's cool he can also tell the difference of this you know so that's something that can be built on in the future so this is bruce with hunsaker home hacks please subscribe to the channel ring the bell for future notifications share me with a friend and on social media follow me on instagram and twitter and emo and i will see you soon see you soon see you soon you can't call me Emo Edward Hunsaker.